Welcome to the next part of the module on Android Concurrency Frameworks, which analyzes a threaded downloads application that implements several concurrency models using the Android Hammer and Async Task Frameworks. Earlier videos in this module examined key classes in these frameworks and showed examples of how these frameworks are applied to portions of Android applications and its middleware. While these examples illustrated industrial strength usage of Hammer and Async Task in practice, they don't really lend themselves to comprehensive dissection and experimentation in your Android development environment. Therefore, this part of the module provides a detailed analysis of the structure and functionality of the threaded downloads application, focusing on how it concurrently retrieves images from remote servers and displays them to the user's screen. This application demonstrates three different ways to download an image concurrently, by posting and processing runnables, sending and handling messages, and executing async tasks using the concurrency idioms supported by the Android concurrency frameworks. The application prompts the user to enter the URL for the desired image. After entering the URL, the user can initiate the download concurrently by clicking a button from a menu of buttons configured via an XML-based resource file. A progress dialog is displayed while the requested image is downloading. After the download completes successfully, the image is displayed on the screen. The user can return to the default image by selecting the Reset Image button. The rest of this video and the next one explore the implementation of this application, whose source code and metadata is available on GitHub at this link, so you might want to obtain it and follow along. Before describing the concurrency models supported by the Threaded Downloads application, we'll first analyze the overall structure and functionality of the Threaded Downloads project. Each Android project contains three key elements. First and foremost, it contains the Java source code. Second, it contains resources such as bitmaps, user interface layout definitions, and internationalized strings that provide additional files and static content used by the Java code, as described at this link. And third, it contains an XML manifest file containing information that Android needs to execute the application, as described at this link. The Android manifest file for the threaded downloads application contains several pieces of essential information. For example, it grants the application permission to use the internet. It also indicates the application's main activity, called threaded downloads, and declares which intents it handles. The layout of the application is specified by the contents of its main.xml resource file, which dictates how the text view, edit text, and buttons appear on the screen. This file also specifies which methods in the threaded downloads class are mapped to which button clicks. There are four buttons with labels run runnable, run messages, run async, and reset image. Clicking on these buttons triggers the corresponding hook methods in the threaded downloads class which then downloads the image requested by the user via the associated concurrency model. These button objects are connected to the corresponding threaded download methods via the Android onclick attributes in the main.xml file, which avoids hard coding the text view, edit text, or button objects into the threaded downloads class itself. The one and only activity in the Threaded Downloads application is the Threaded Downloads class, specified in the Android manifest file shown earlier. This class extends the Android Activity Base class and contains several data members used by the concurrency models to determine which URL to download and how to interact with the user. In particular, its data members indicate which URL to use by default, where to store the URL requested by the user, where to store the downloaded image, and how to display the progress of the download. Threaded Download's onCreateHook method sets the content view specified in the main.xml file, and then caches references to the edit text and image view objects in data members to optimize subsequent access. All the concurrency models share the download image method, which runs in background threads and can thus block without incurring an application not responding dialog from the user interface thread. Download image connects to a remote server, downloads the contents of the image, and provides access to it via an input stream using the getContent method of the URL class, 
described at this link. The bitmap factory's decode stream method, described at this link, then converts the image stream into a bitmap object, described at this link. Download image returns the bitmap object if decode stream succeeds. If the download fails, however, a warning is displayed to the user via a toast message, which automatically disappears after a short timeout, as described at this link. Although download failures occur in background threads, the toast must be displayed in the user interface thread. Download image therefore creates a runnable command and calls the activity's run on UI thread method, which uses the hammer framework to post this command to the user interface thread via an internal handler, as shown in this earlier video. The runnable's run hook method then uses a toast to inform the user that something's gone wrong with the download, so they can try again. In summary, the Threaded Downloads application displays images retrieved from remote servers using three different concurrency models based on the Android Hammer and Async Task Concurrency frameworks. This video analyzed the overall structure and functionality of the Threaded Downloads project, outlining key elements in its Android manifest and resource files, as well as explaining several key data members and methods in the Threaded Downloads class itself. A simple use of the Hammer framework was shown, which posted a runnable command containing a toast message to display in the user interface thread when downloads fail. Other methods in the class use additional Android Hammer and Async Task Concurrency framework capabilities to download the requested images via several concurrency models, which we analyze in the next video in this module.